Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to show you a drill that I was working with a player with the other day. Uh, gave them a great sense of how their sort of trail side was moving into impact. So I've seen it a lot, especially with players trying to generate more energy, where they go up and they, they're trying to load everything and everything actually gets a little bit too narrow. So then from here, their option is, okay, so I'm in this position, I'm not really rotated, I'm a little closed, I'm a little narrow. How am I going to get the club to the ball? So for this player, his reaction was to pull his left elbow up as he kept turning and uh, hit some pretty good shots. Pretty good player, but we're trying to make it a little bit more efficient, give him a little bit more face control because when he got that narrow, it was hard for him to manage that face. Uh, sometimes it was more of like a pull draw miss actually for him because he'd have to slow down the lead hand so much that sometimes the face would shut a little bit too much. So. The drill that we did that I think is, uh, is a great one, it can help lots of people, is when you get to the top, so I go up to the top, I take my trail or my lead hand off, just holding it with my trail hand, okay? So as we're coming down, if I went like this, right, you could see how, you know, unless I'm trying to hit a really, really big hook, I'm in a position that's pretty shut and it's gonna be hard for me to keep pivoting. So what we were trying to do for him is as he started to come down, what was it like for the right trail shoulder and club face uh, using the trail shoulder to help him square the face? So you can see how when I do that, it's letting me have my trail shoulder start to uh, move on top of in front of my foot line. That was a reference for him. His trail shoulder sometimes would actually get behind his, almost behind his heel. So when he started to do this, he knows, oh, my trail shoulder is more in front of my foot line. That's going to allow me to keep pivoting without having to change my hand position. So again, it looks like this. I'm using my shoulder to control the face. I'm letting it come down. I have a little twist on the handle, not a ton. I'm trying to really use that shoulder to help the face. So again, if I go normal grip up to the top, lead hand off. There's my trail hand. As I'm coming down, I get about halfway down. This was the old move, the new move, shoulder and club face working together. Shoulder on top, in front of the shoes. You can either just chip it with the trail hand only, just like that, letting that shoulder come through, or you can do the exact same thing. So go to the top, same drill here, lead hand off, let the trail shoulder move around. You see, I have to move my lead side properly to do it push off my lead leg, then I put my lead hand back on, and then I hit little chips like that. Um, and then you can sort of build that from there. Really good awareness of how you're using your pivot to help you square the face versus, again, if you're getting a narrow, you're not able to use that pivot as well, having to rely a lot on what the hands are doing through impact. Uh, I hope that one helps you. Really easy, start slow. Little chip shots, right hand only or trail hand only, and then build from there. If you need any more help for your game, make sure you check the description below. Been helping players all over the world, loving the process. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if there's anything specific you want me to shoot for you uh, relative to your game.